the time has come where we are going to do the bottle cap challenge. Oh, you nearly did it, mate. So close. Oh, yes! Yes! Good morning, guys. How is it going? I'm back in the countryside. I've literally kind of just woken up. That's why I'm really like squinting this morning. It's very bright. It's very, very bright. I struggle with like going outside and having just clouds with brightness in my eyes. Um, but yeah, I'm here for a couple of days. I'm looking after James. My parents are actually on holiday. Uh, and then James is going on this NCS course. Wow, they've shot up. My dad's lettuce. He was like, right, go and pick some lettuce because I've, I've got to let the chickens out this morning. But this is massive. I was here the other day and it wasn't this big. So let's pull out this one. I hope, he, I hope he allows me to do this. Oh, look at that. Right, the chickens have got an absolute feast on their hands. Absolute feast. I haven't seen the chickens in forever. I don't know whether you guys remember back to like vlogs absolutely ages ago. Um, but this whole area down here is where the chickens are, right at the bottom of the garden. And we've had, we've had a lot of chickens, like, throughout the time of living here. And all these chickens that we have now, they're all rescue chickens, because we've had a couple of unfortunate events where a fox has come and eaten them all, uh, which is not great. Um, but yeah, we've got rescue ones now, and they're actually really sweet, and they're, uh, they're laying a lot of eggs. So if anyone wants eggs, let me know. Talking about eggs and chickens and stuff, um, these guys were actually like my first business. They were my first business. Look, let's see if they like this. Do you like that? Come on. Come on, it's lettuce. It's lettuce. My dad said this is their favorite thing. You just want to come out, don't you? Okay. Well, if you're standing behind the door, you're going to get crushed. Come on, move out the way. Move back. What are you doing? <laughs> oh, chickens are a little bit stupid though. Yes, mate. See, look at that. They like a bit of that, don't you? They love it. No, don't try and peck me. You guys just go ham at it. Oh, see, they absolutely love it now. Now that I've thrown it, they're all, look, they're all over that. So, talking about what I was actually talking about. So these guys were actually like my first like bit of income, well, kind of first bit of income and first like job, really, in a way, um, because we had this area down here, which is really nice for chickens, actually. This 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 uh, coop was what was here when we first bought the house, and this could probably house like 50 or so chickens. Um, but what we did is I bought them with my own money, I set up everything, got all the food, everything like that, and then I would sell their eggs, like six eggs, for I think it was a pound or a pound 50, and we got eggs, obviously, every single day, and we had, I think back then, about nine chickens, so we got nine eggs every day, and then word got round, and our place where we lived, that we sold the best eggs, and then that was a business. People then came to our doorstep and bought eggs, and I would earn seven pounds, eight pounds maybe a week <laughs> but then what i did i then got more food and then they had bigger eggs and better eggs and then i upped the price a little bit you know supply and demand um everyone wanted our eggs and that was basically my first my first business of eggs oh did i just get poo on my and here he is the dishwasher boy himself taking over my job from when i used to do the dishwasher <laughs> That was, that was, that was like my one job growing up here, is I had to pack and empty the dishwasher. Don't leave the water running. I it to get cold. No. Don't go. To be honest, it's not as cold as London, my, my lovely, beautiful filter tap. But it's still nice water here, it's always different. It's not as nice. I can't drink the water, I can't drink the actual water in London though, from the tap. Have you tried drinking that? Yeah, it's nice than drinking it from this tap. No, not the tap yeah, in it's London, it's not. No, no, not the tap. The filter thing, yes, not the tap. I am, uh, I'm gonna cook some tap. eggs. Can I'm gonna cook some tap? eggs. What? You should buy us a tap. Buy you a tap? Yeah, but like a filter tap. I don't think Dad would be too happy with that. You know how he is with his certain ways. Oh, actually, yeah, actually. Right, so we're cooking some eggs. We've got two eggs, fresh eggs from the hens. We're gonna make a bit of scrambled eggs. Do you want anything? No, I'm just looking at something. What? I don't know. What? Tell me, what? Oh, my mum actually listened to me and bought the coconut oil. <laughs> you got the coconut oil now. Coconut oil is great. For chips. 
Chips Actually, for everything. Nuggets. We need to go and get some food from Sainsbury's, we don't we? Chips and chicken nuggets. We sure can, mate. We sure can. Today, I also want to try the bottle cap challenge. You know, you've probably seen people online, you know, spinning round, kicking the top off a bottle, doing it so perfectly. Well, me and James are going to give a go. So, but do you think you're going to be able to do it? Yeah. How, like, really, though? That's can you. Right, show us how high you can lift yeah, your leg. Stand back. Damn, right, okay. Actually, no, can we go in the garden or something? I can get out kicking that. Kicking what? No, just no, lift, just no lift your leg up. Let's see no, how. That's not how you do it. No, I know, but just I want to see the flexibility of the leg kick. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, he's hurt his knee! Oh. Man down! Oh. Man down! That's pretty high, though. Well, yeah, that, yeah, I mean. You've hurt yourself though. Like so, what? Oh wow, yeah, that was really far. It went up to there. Yeah, but you're not meant to kick like that. You want to do a spinning roundhouse kick. John Jones! Right, guys, we want you to let us know in the comment section below who do you think is going to be able to get the cap off a bottle? Is it me or is it James? Let us know. And there we are. Look at that. Absolutely perfect scrambled eggs. The time has come where we are going to do the bottle cap challenge. We're going to try and knock the cap of this bottle off. Now, James, you've been doing Mu Muay Thai? Muay Thai. Muay Thai. For how long? I don't know, like six months. Six months, but he's only been about three times, so... Yeah, I've been more than that. Okay. Four times? No. So you're, you're, you're meant to be... I go once every week. So you're meant to be a pro, then? No. So, yeah, but yeah, I'm deep. <laughs> Well, so, so you, you've gone so many times, but you're you're not going to be a pro. I only used to go once a week for six months. That's not that much. Six months is quite a long time. But once a time, once a, four times every what? Well, four times six. Work it out. Six, twelve. Twenty-four. Yeah. This I've only been twenty-four times. Twenty-four. That's bloody loads, mate. Right, I'm going to stand here. I'm going to be behind it because I'm also going to record in slow-mo as well, right? So we've got this camera here, and just to say, there is water in this, so try and not... Well, I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to hold it. Three... Wait, hold on, it's not focusing. Three, two, one, go. James, what the hell are you doing? I missed, I missed, I missed. James, what the actual hell was that? Firstly, no, hold on. Firstly, you're meant to spin around the other way. No, you hit it and tightened it up. That's you hit it. it. That's not the kicks. You James, my tie. That's in your. Well, I'm not talking about my tie. I'm no, talking about the ball cap challenge. Kick something when. <laughs> we were practicing because the last one James booted and um, he kicked it and well, it kind of went all over you, didn't it? <laughs> so we've got hardly any water in here left, but that's fine. I'm going to hold it, and also, you know which way you're going to kick it now. You've got to spin. Go like that. Yeah, you've got to go like that and kick it with this leg. Yeah, yeah, you, but you basically got to do that. Are you ready? Do you think you could do this? So which way am I spinning? This way? Yeah, and you've got to then hit it off. Yeah, like that? Yeah, basically. Oh, just try, just try and not kill my hand. I'm going to hold it so it doesn't fly off again. Yeah, so you may, may need to stand back a little bit. No, because look, look, when I stand for back... <laughs> okay, right, go on then. Spin! <laughs> yeah, you missed it. It needs to be like, you need to like extend the leg a bit. Oh, you nearly did it, mate. So close. One more, go on then, one more. Oh, so close. So close. Come on, I think, I think, I think you could do it. Oh, so close, mate, that was really close. Yeah, go on, try again, try again. You can do it, you can do it, mate. Big kick, roundhouse, oof. Close, mate, very, right, I'll have a go. Wait, so I've, got a, I've got to knock it off like Oh, sh that. shall I start filming, okay. yeah? Um, Remember, you've got to do it back to spin. I know, I'm gonna try, I'm nervous, mate. Hold on, let me just stretch a bit. I can't fit you in with the bottle, by the way. Under right, ready? I'm gonna stop filming. Hoo -ah! Oh, that was close, that was practice, ready? That hurt. Oh, I broke my ankle. Oh, oh, close. Yes, yes. <laughs> Woo! Yes. Oh my god, that was so knackering, but I did it. High five. Oh, the bottle cap. We found it. It's down here. I went flying. Maybe it wasn't the most like 
precise kick, but I did it. James still needs a bit of practice though. Yeah. No? no? I could do it either. Oh, yeah, we didn't get that on camera, did we, that bit? No, but I could do it right now. And we are back in London! Oh, it feels, it feels weird to be in my own apartment, on my own, with no one here, because Evie, she's gone away, uh, she, well, she's been away in France, actually, for about 10 days or so, so she's been loving it in the sun. And then James has been staying with me for about three weeks, so to be here on my own not having to look after James is great he's actually just gone off on an NCS course which is really cool because I I did like a brand deal for them years and years and years ago and it's an amazing like activity course like you do so many things learn so many different new skills and meet amazing people as well so I really hope he enjoys that if you don't know um, a while ago maybe about a year ago I got involved with a merchandise company I invested in one and I've been working with them ever since getting on new clients building the business and uh, today I'm gonna be going to have a look at the new offices we have moved into some new offices which is amazing the team have done so well and it's so cool to see the business expand and grow um, so yeah I'm pretty I'm pretty stoked to go and see this new office let's go it's looking so good like I'm literally so proud of the team because this is just amazing and it's so cool to see everything come together it's not finished yet but this is how it's looking so far oh hello George how are you mate they're ready to open the door so this All yours, Oz. is offices what's, what's going here then George come on so tell this us is where clients will come in yep um, that nice green area here it's actually nice 25% sort of through all the work so there's a lot of stuff still to come in nice uh, so we're just gonna have a little feature all here where clients will have their name up very cool and on the left here we have a table tennis table one of the most okay. important things of the uh, whole office of course, really never be played any <laughs> and then we've got a little kitchen over here we have loads of workspaces hey how are you <laughs> sorry you're eating your dinner <laughs> Sorry, we can't see. I'm, I'm covering you up so no one can see. We've got this like middle dividing part with loads of different products and things that uh, we do for different clients and what we work on. We've got a, a, a rack here with other bits and pieces. The, um, the, the wires. Right? Yeah, you should probably explain more than me. I'm kind of just. Come from the roof down. So this Ooh. is a bit old school. This uh, railing. So they'll come from the roof and they'll wires. Hang sort of halfway up. Lovely, um, beautiful. And there'll be a lot more stacks above this as well, so we sort of nice. it off. Um, and then these will have three of these light boxes. Oh, these light are light boxes? Yeah, so they're nice. the back and they'll be lit up in the colour of, of what they are. So this yeah. Green, neon one. Um, nice. And then we've got another little workstation here. This is where clients will review samples. Um, we'll hang their products on the walls and stuff when they come in. Sick. Um, you know, it's all about content creation. So when they come in, they'll be able to sort of... So they can see stuff. firsthand exactly the products, what they want. Here, we've got a meeting room. I was going to say a little meeting room, but it's actually quite a, quite a spacious serious, meeting. Serious the happens. serious business serious happens thing. over here. Look at this. This is awesome. It's so cool to see this place like come together. This is like the first And then this is uh, office. Ollie's, Ollie's private room. Yeah, this is my private room. I've said I want a whole room to myself. No, it's not really. <laughs> this is the plant room. This is where we grow all our beautiful plant. No, it's, uh, it's another room for something very, very secret that we can't tell you about. But yeah, this is, this is the office. It's just so cool. Like, it's absolutely amazing. So if you're an aspiring entrepreneur and you want to create a brand with products, t-shirts, whatever, we can literally do whatever, um, then let me know. There is a, a link in the description to the website. Get in touch and uh, maybe we'll be able to help you guys. Anyway. This is the office. Awesome stuff. I'm, I'm gonna ride my scooter in here as well. Right, well there we are guys. Thank you ever so much for watching. That is the day over. I am 100% getting an early night tonight. First night of chilling here. Well, on my own. I'm a little bit bored actually. I wish Evie was coming home. Well, she is coming home soon. But Evie, come back now please. If you've enjoyed the vlog, then don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Let me know in the comment section below what you thought about the vlog, the bottle kick, catalyst, and uh, yeah, hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you soon with another vlog. Bye! <laughs>